This podcast is brought to you by ICT4D.at and inspired by Farm Radio. Hello, listener. This is Podcast Farms, how to podcast. This is your host, Lydia, with my co-host, Juliana and Noah. It's all about kickstarting your podcast journey from beginning to the end. We'll all be taking turns diving deeper into different aspects of podcasting. Weasel, I know you are probably wondering what that means. It's actually an away word, which means welcome. Anyways, dear listeners, you're welcome to Podcast Farm. I am your host, Noah, and in today's episode, we have an exciting lineup for beginners in the world of podcasting. We will dive into the art of podcast editing, explore the essential tools at your disposal, and unravel the secrets of what to retain and what to trim during the editing process. So without any more ado, let's jump right in. As you embark on your podcast editing journey as a newcomer, our mission is clear to streamline the process without compromising on quality. Let me offer you some valuable insights that will serve as your compass during the editing journey. The first on the list is listening to the entire podcast, beginning to end. This will give you an overview of the content and help you identify areas that feel baggy or less engaging. Second is identify problem area. Make sure you pay attention to sections of the podcast where there might be long pauses, repetitive content, off-topic discussions, or any parts that seem to drag on. These are the areas you want to focus on. Also, trim excess material. Use editing software like Audacity, Adobe Audition, or GarageBand to trim excess material. This can include cutting out long pauses, irrelevant tangent. Be sure to make smooth transition after cutting to maintain the flow. Also, make sure you check audio quality and make necessary adjustments. This includes removing the background noise, normalize audio level, and ensuring a consistent volume throughout the podcast. You don't want your podcast to sound too high and not so, uh, too low. You want to maintain the volume in a way that it does not you know, destroy your listeners' ears. Another thing that we can also look at, which is also very essential, is to add music or sound effect. You notice in our podcast, introduce a lot of music that makes it really interesting. So to engage your listeners, make sure you add some effects or music as a background for your podcast. Also, another thing that we can also look at is to review the podcast for clarity. Very, very, very important. If there are parts where the speaker is unclear or mumbles, you may need to enhance or edit the audio to improve understanding. Another thing that we can also look at is optimize for length. Depending on your audience preference, consider the ideal length for your podcast. If it is too long, you may need to make more aggressive cut to shorten it. Aim for a balance, like I said, but you have to know your audience. If the podcast is too long, they might not listen. Well, it depends on how you are telling your story. But if you are not telling your story really well, it will be difficult for your uh, audience. Another thing that we can also look at is smooth transition between segments or topics. You can use fade-ins, fade out to make this transition seamless. Uh, aside that, you also have to listen to the podcast again to make sure it flows naturally and maintain its overall coherence. If it doesn't flow as you expected, you can make some few adjustments and off you go. And uh, last but not the least, uh, we have export and review. 
export the edited podcast and review it one last time to ensure everything is as you want it. So during one of our recordings, I recorded and uh, when I listened, it was okay. But then guess what happened? So during a recording, there is some signal that sound ke, 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 three times to alert you to start recording. And then I forgot to deactivate that during my export. And guess what happened? It was sounding on the entire recording. So that is something that you should be mindful of. And once you review and everything sounds really cool, you are good to go. And the next thing that we can also talk about is uh, adding tags, such as your episode title, description, and relevant tags for discoverability. And last one, which is upload and share. Upload the edited podcast to your hosting platform and share it with your audience. All right, so always remember that the process of editing a podcast is subjective and what works best can vary depending on your specific target audience and the style of your content. To refine your editing skill over time, it is valuable to regularly seek feedback from your listeners. Additionally, consider testing your edited content with friends and others who closely resemble your target audience to gain different perspective and insight. Now that we've covered how to approach podcast editing, let's explore the tools you can use. There are different software options available depending on your skills and requirements. Here are some popular choices. Audacity, Adobe Audition, GarageBand, Logic Pro X, Reaper, and so many others out there. Consider your skill level and budget when choosing your editing softwares because some are paid and some are free. Additionally, think about your podcast distribution platform. Some software may integrate better with specific hosting and publishing services. When editing your podcast, remember that it is a subjective process. Different types of podcasts have different editing rules. Here are some basic guidelines to help you decide what to keep and what to cut. First of all, stick to the topic. Keep content that's directly related to your podcast main theme. Anything of topic or unrelated can be considered for removal. Second, engage your audience. Focus on content that engages and interests your listeners. Keep the engaging informative or entertaining parts and cut anything dull or repetitive. You have to think like your listeners. Put yourself in your audience's shoes. What would they find valuable or boring? Consider their perspective when making edits. Avoid repetition. Too much repetition can make your podcast feel long. Audio quality matters. If there are sections with poor audio quality, decide if they can be fixed. If not, consider cutting them to maintain overall audio quality. Make sure you remove long pauses and dead air to keep your podcast flowing smoothly. Short pauses for effect are fine, but lengthy ones should be cut. You don't want to let your audience wait for 30 seconds before you say a word. Consider your podcast ideal length. Make sure cuts to fit that duration. Sometimes, yes, you can do freestyle. That will take a longer period. It needs to be engaging. That is something I, I want to notify you of. Listen to feedback. Make sure you pay attention to audience feedback. If parts are consistently less interesting or relevant consider revising or cutting them. And also, you can also improve clarity, edit and clear sessions to enhance speaker clarity, adjusting audio levels or re-recording if the need be maintain the narrative if your podcast has a story or narrative ensure every piece contributes to it cut anything that doesn't fit ultimately trust your creative judgment you know your audience your goals best remember that editing is an ongoing process and you can save cuts separately in case you change your mind later 
seek input from co-hosts or trusted friends for valuable perspectives on what to keep or cut. Time for a quick chat about editing. And here is the scoop. Time is your secret sauce. Editing can gobble up hours, especially if you are just getting started. From endless listening and re-listening to surgically removing those pesky mouth noises, we all have them. It's a time-consuming adventure, so here is your game plan. Build in a buffer between recording and posting. This way, you can edit stress-free. And here is a nugget of wisdom. Lots of podcast pros will tell you it takes a bit to cozy up to your editing tools and the sound of your own voice. So go easy on yourself and remember it's all part of the learning curve. And there you have it, folks. A comprehensive dive into the art of podcast editing. Remember, as beginners, efficiency and quality can go hand in hand. Keep honing your skills and your podcast will shine brighter with each episode. Thank you for joining us today on Podcast Farm. We are excited to be part of your podcasting journey. And until next time, keep those mics rolling and happy podcasting. Thanks for tuning in to Podcast Farms How to Podcast. Before we wrap up today's episode, I wanted to remind you about some valuable resources and ways to stay engaged. First off, if you found today's conversation inspiring and want to dig deeper, be sure to check out our detailed show notes. And if you're eager to explore the articles, books, websites we discussed, don't worry, we've got you covered. Head over to ict4d.at under Podcast Farm to access a curated list of all the resources we mentioned today. And lastly, if you know someone who would benefit from the knowledge shared on this episode, don't hesitate to share with them. Your recommendation can make a positive impact on their learning journey. Before I go, here's a sneak peek from our next episode where my co-host and I conclude the series. Also, I'm really missing Noah's food. I actually oh, do. Really? Yeah, I, I actually do. do. I, I no think worries. about it. No, I think about it a lot of times, really. Interesting. You should definitely, definitely visit Ghana then. Will you be a good host? Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I'll definitely be a good host. I'm not a bad host, you know. So you're really? always welcome to visit Ghana. <laughs> Thanks. That's we, will nice. go, we will actually go on a food tour, enjoying local foods. Nice. Love that. Well, everyone, that's a wrap for today. Remember, the learning doesn't stop here. Dive into those show notes, explore the resources, and join us on our next episode.